Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, I'm just uh, just a little bored here, and uh, figured I'd uh, do a video of my Northern Electric 354. This is actually one of my very favorite phones. I think uh, I think this is the first phone I bought off eBay. Um, you don't see too many Northern Electric ones, so as soon as I seen it was Northern Electric, I just had to get it. It's in great condition. That's another reason I wanted it as well. The only thing I want to do is, I don't know if this handset cord is original or not, but uh, I wouldn't mind putting on one of the straight rubber ones or the straight uh, cloth ones, just to, you know, like the ones they put on the 302s, just to make it look a little better, but, you know, this one works for now. It could be original, who knows, but uh, actually I believe this phone is, it, it's a later model, I think it's actually a 54 or something like that, but uh, yeah, I'll give you a little look at it here. This phone, this phone is actually hooked up and working. Um, see if I can give you some dial tone. Yeah, so not sure if you heard the dial tone, but uh, it is hooked up. It's hardwired into the wall here, out in the inside garage. Um, original number card. I didn't want to change that because it looked kind of cool. Um, but uh, as the operator in the zero without the Z. Um, the paint is still very good on the uh, on the letters. Now, you know, I I actually yeah, I actually did paint this phone. It was when I first started collecting phones and all that, and but it was actually pretty scratched up, so I did paint it. I painted this as well, but you can see it's already chipping off. Um, painted the thing. Not sure if you just heard the please hang up, this is a recording, but the uh, that awful sound is going to come on soon. So, yeah, anyway, here she is, the uh, Northern Electric 354. I don't know if I showed you that there, the Northern Electric F1. Yeah, it's F1. Anyway, I'll uh, open her up and show you the guts. It's a great phone, and it suits it suits this garage good. It's right by the door, so if you're outside working, you hear the phone ringing, you can just step in the door and pick her up. There goes that. So, if you don't mind, I'm just going to set this camera down, and I'll uh, take her apart and show you the guts. Okay, so here we go. Oh, that top screw is not quite undone enough. There we go. It's kind of cool how these just open up like that. But anyway, here's the uh, the new cat5 wire or whatever coming in. There's the hole up there. The hole's pretty big. Anyway, I actually screwed it right to the uh, the box in the wall so we didn't have to make any holes in the walls. Or 
maybe I did make one hole somewhere, but uh, yeah, it's a nice phone. Let's see, it just said, just says pat, patented uh, 53 and 48. Let's see if I can find the year here. Yep, it is a 54. I don't know if you can see that, but it's on the belt. It's a 1954. Um, but yeah, there's a there's a view of the the inside of this phone. It's just a great phone. I love this. It's one of my favorites as well. But uh, for some reason, the ringing isn't very loud. I know the the bells may need to be adjusted, but it doesn't need to be that loud anyway, so it's loud enough we can hear it, so I'm just going to leave it as it is. There goes that again. But, uh, yeah. Don't know what else to say about this phone, so close her up, close her up there. Yeah. Well, anyway, I don't think she's going to stay on, but, uh, Northern Electric, but, yeah, anyway, there's the video of the, uh, 1954 Northern Electric 354, aka a 302 wall phone, I've heard people call them 302 wall phones, so, um, yeah. Anyway, they're cool phones. They're very cool phones. It's actually weird how when they went to the um, uh, 554, they actually made them bigger than this. This is about the size of a mini wall phone, or the yeah. So, but uh, it's a good phone. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Leave a comment. Uh, watch my other videos and. Uh, have a great one. Okay. Bye.